A battle for the world title in 2019. And this year, the title is decided in the water between the two best surfers of the season. All goofy foot, all Brazilian final about to start. Final is on. Last heat of 2019 starts with Italo Ferreira. Looking at back door. Ferreira still moving. Into safety on the inside corner. Wow, wow, wow. That is a stoke crew right there for Billabong. Italo. Let's see how he got this one done. Yeah, beautiful positioning there. And Gabriel knew he was way too deep for the left. Uh, and that would have definitely been an interference. He wanted to stay well and truly away from that, especially the opening wave of the Pipe Masters final. You've got 38 minutes remaining and beautiful stuff there from Italo Ferreira. Bottom turn kind of reminded me of the wave he had at the box and uh, comes out nice and clean. So first blood goes to Italo Ferreira and that's exactly what you've got to do to Gabriel Medina. Just you know, unhinge him a little bit. Get him off his game just a little bit. Make him think about you a bit, you know, and I think that's a difficult thing to do, but great step in the right direction there for Italo Ferreira. Italo doing a great job to take over that opener. Here we go. Looks like Gabriel's going to take a look, and Italo's going to take it from him. Ferreira up again under Medina's watch. It's a pipeline. He'll get puffed out. Two consecutive completions with a big full row to finish. Are they stoked right now? Absolutely. <laughs> Fired up is the Billabong crew. The Iceman, but it left for a beautiful cheer ride. A quick little in and out there for him. Puts a little cherry on the top with this beautiful air reverse, but I'm not sure whether this is actually going to add too many points to that wave. Is it better than his 7.83? It's kind of right around in that ballpark. It's just a quick little in and out tube ride. Kind of needed the air to kind of push it into that five, maybe six point range as he kicks out of that. Gave him Medina, as I said, just the Iceman. Nerves of steel to let that one go. Beautiful bottom turn, slots beautifully in the tube. And, and you see it wasn't deep, it wasn't very long, so that is going to hurt the score just a little bit, Joe, but there it is. Italo Ferreira, 6.17. So needed every bit of this front side punt, but that's Medina being so strong with selection. Able to let this wave go by, incredible air in the flat. 35 minutes to go, <laughs> it is a long time to try and hold this uh, freakish talent of Gabriel Medina at bay. Here he goes, Joe. Locks in, hollow section, critical critical takeoff. He's got to drive, and he makes it. Just like you mentioned, Potts. Medina, a tactician with strategy, with where he puts himself in the lineup, but also understands how to barrel ride. Hollow can pull them on demands. This was Medina's answer. Yeah, late drop, just sliding into it. Kind of a double section there from Gabriel. A lot longer time spent behind the tube, inside the tube, I should say, and that's what's going to add the points to this. Double pumps, it comes out with the spit. Yeah, two judges thought it was, and uh, here we go. Rolling in, no tube on offer. Medina pacing himself under Italo's watch. Italo still with the lead. Medina chasing a 6.24 and a surf off. This is what it's all about, winner take all. Rolling in now is Italo, deep at pipeline, big section. Italo packs it. Oh. Is there room on the inside? We saw him for a moment, but something took Italo down. Kind of breathes a little bit. You can see there, Gabriel making sure Italo committed to this one. It was a beautiful barrel. And then backdoor that section, just the board bounced, and it kind of threw him down the face of the wave just a little bit. That was so close to being made, and that would have been an unbelievable score for Idolo Ferreira. Just the first section, but then to get the bonus section as well. As he comes out, that wave just clamps down. The guillotine came down, and unfortunately for Idolo, Idolo Ferreira, that was an incomplete ride. So just two points where it could have been almost 10. Beautiful barrel there. And then the second section, you can see the bounce on the face of the wave. Right there, the board does a wheelie up and over that foam ball and it kind of pushed him down the face of the wave he was unable to keep that high line now it's Medina's turn to swing stalling grabbing the wall with the double arm bar he'll get the exit hop right out and a good position to regain first priority with 30 minutes to go pots on a wave where it looked like Italo did everything right 
to improve on that 78-3 as well. Which are there for Italo Freire and then Gabriel Medina just slides into a, a nice little backup, a 4.5. That's a difficult score, but when your name's Gabriel Medina, maybe not. All set up work to start. Medina, big drive, has to straighten Ooh. out. That was, uh, that wasn't good right there. Maybe his worst wipeout of the event so far. 15 minutes and change remaining in this Pipe Masters final. Rolling in deep, Italo wants more of Pipeline. What an approach from the current world number one. Swinging for the fences on that effort. You know, he kind of had to go though, didn't he? Medina on the next one, slams on the brakes. He'll get the exit right in front of Italo. He'll get applauded by Charlie for that effort. Medina chasing a 6-2-4, but look how fired up he is to regain control of priority. Being an, an incredible score, and then right behind Gabriel Medina. Well, as he always does, look how far up the board he is, Joe. That is just beautiful technique there from Gabriel. And then to kick out and try and get that priority back into play, Medina slides in. He's needing a 6.24 to try and get the lead off Italo Ferreira. Scores have already dropped in, Joe. Numbers in for Gabriel Medina, 5.17. Keeps him in seconds. 13.45 to go. Yeah, it was manufactured, wasn't it? You can see how he's slowing himself down as much as he can. Trying to hang in there as long as he possibly can. I mean, a, a nice little tube ride in the earlier rounds, but in the final, it's going to take a little bit more than that. He's getting the lar largest or loud, you know, <laughs> cheers for his uh, their efforts but I'll tell you it is very even and I'd love to actually know what it is online and I did get the answer as we watch this wave here from Italo another little quick one in and out but who is getting it online 52 percent for Italo Ferreira and he's never gone this far he's never worn yellow in the final stop here he goes again starting to drive nice and early Italo still traveling Wanted that lip section to ramp him up. Will he get an opportunity here? Big four rotation. Wow, Italo Ferreira, you absolute freak. That's what they wanted. That's what the crowd wanted to see. A little bit of a tighter spot. Let's have a look at it, Joe. Nice late drop. Driving through. That's what the judges are going to love. The fact that that was pedaled to the metal the whole way. Just missed that first section. But then capitalized. Beautiful air reverse. Lands super clean and rides out of it. The water angle, beautiful stuff, driving, super technical barrel there. A couple of adjustments inside, comes out nice and clean. Beautiful stuff there from Ilo Ferreira. Kind of a wave that you wouldn't really have thought was gonna be a keeper, but you never know. The judges are gonna love the fact that it was deep, it was long. And then he put the cherry on the top with the air reverse at the end, Joe. This is going to be a very interesting score. You can tell he wanted it to happen right out of the pit, but stayed connected with a meaty section. That was radical. That was radical. Incredibly. And Medina wasn't even looking at him. So committed. Italo Ferrer on his feet. There's some surfers that do their best surfing in a jersey. Numbers lock again for Italo, increasing his lead. Medina's got to make a move. Big drive deep in the barrel at Pipe. And another wipeout for the two-time world champ. Medina getting past some, some big names. Got past Cole de Pinto in the semifinals. Longtime rival of Florence got past him in the quarters. Deep on this one at Pipe is Medina trying to sneak out the low road. And he'll get caught again. I haven't seen anything like that since I've seen him in competition. Paddled by, looked like he had, uh, his eyes were wet. It looked like he had tears in his eyes and it was an interesting look to him, but he's still swinging for the fences. But you could tell there was a, a bit of emotional, a moment happening for him as he's out here. Tried to go in under a wave to get <laughs> buried there on the call, but yeah, interesting take there. Medina yeah. having the emotion sink in. 35 seconds to go, Medina looking like he's Showing a little bit of interest right here. Could be coming down to this wave. Medina going for a backflip. Incomplete, falls out the back. Italo has priority. He's going to roll straight into this wave. And begin the celebrations. 
The whole beach chanting in the countdown. And the whole crew on the beach absolutely stoking. Italo Ferreira, your 2019 Billabong Pipe Master and your World Surf League World Champion. Wow. In unbelievable stuff. This day will go down for Italo. He will never forget this day. The day he conquered the world, the day he took down the best in the world, the GOAT in the semi-finals, the beast in Medina in the final. It doesn't get any better than that. Victories do not come any sweeter than that. Incredible stuff, Joe.